Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and today we're going to have a look at what to do when you see a map update that says those four little words that we all hate. Needs a new save. Let's roll the intro and get to work. We have had or are about to have the 1.2 update to comms which has those four words needs a new save. What I'm going to do actually will work with any map and it is designed to cope with the fact that the map may have changed enough that you just can't copy everything from the save over. It's not a perfect approach, it is the approach that I'm going to use when I get access to the 1.2 version of Carlston and want to make my to move my save. I would recommend and this video is focused on doing everything once you have harvested all of your fields. If you've got crops growing in the fields, you could use console commands to put those in. I am not going to cover that. Um, I messed around and I found it was a bit too variable as to the results that I got. I don't use console commands a lot. And also this video is me thinking about adding in precision farming as well. And that gets more complicated because you've got nitrogen levels and lime levels to mess with. And at the moment, there are no console commands to do that. So this is, as I said, this is focused on all your fields are harvested and getting you back to where you are pretty much at that point. It, this is for PC only because it relies on editing some files and it does rely on some script mods to get things sorted. So if you're on console, sorry, this isn't really going to help you. Um, Maybe one of the console guys can think about how to do this. I have focused on doing it of how I'm going to do it when I move my Let's Play on Calmston across to the update and add in precision farming. So let's have a look at what I've got and uh, we'll go through, I'll go through some, some tips. This is going to be a long video probably, by the way. Um, but actually doing the process took me about an hour to work through the list of instructions that I've got. And as I go through them, I will flash those up on the screen. So let's have a quick look at the farm that I've got. So I did pretty much a a new farmer start game on Calmston. I've added bits and pieces in. So we've got vehicles. We've got field three, which is plowed and cultivated, but still needs lime. We've got field six over here, which has been plowed and limed. Um, I have the, the cow pasture. I have plowed, limed, rolled and reseeded um we have field eight over here which i have done none of that with so it needs liming it needs plowing still um i've done some terrain editing so you know if you've put some buildings in have to get those moved across um, i've got my bga this will be my one look at how to do productions as well the map has lots of productions built into it you'll have to work more carefully through one of the steps later on um, we've got field 25 over here which is harvested um what else have we got we've got some crops in the main silo over here um, so i'm not sure if i can easily there we go we've got some wheat and some oats in the main silo over here um we've got some cows we don't have any manure um that's because Giants have changed how many it works, but I will talk about how to deal with that. We've got some slurry in the slurry pit, and we've got some fermented silage in the bunker. And vehicles just kind of scattered around. We've got some bales in here, we've got some silage bales in the shed, and we've got some straw bales over here. So, let's get to the first step on our list. So for step one, actually, we don't want to be in the game because the first step is to back up your original save and your mods folder. Um, the way easy option for doing that. So if you click on your save game, mine is save nine, save game nine, select copy and then right click and select paste and it will do save game nine copy. And I would do the same with your mods folder because if you need to go back and you've updated the map, you might not be able to. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's up to you. So again, select your mods folder, right click, copy and paste. 
So that's given us save game nine, copy and mods copy. That means if things go wrong, we can always go back. That's important. Let's go back into the game. So the next thing you want to do is look at if you've got any heaps on the ground. And what do I mean by heaps? I mean things like silage. If you've got piles of silage on the ground, the approach that I'm going to take is not going to move those across. So make notes on things you've got. So we've got about 23,000 litres of silage. Um, if you've got manure in the pit, make a note of how much is in there. If you've got other piles of crops on the ground, you know, if you've got sugar beet stored on the ground, if you can put it in a silo um, or put it in a trailer or something like that, or get it sold. It, or if you know how much is in the pile, roughly just make a note of it. Um, I don't know if there's a way of going up to piles of things like sugar beet and telling how much is in them, but we're not moving those across because one of the things with Calmston is that they're a bit there's linseed being added and that changes how piles on the ground will be referenced and so we can't just copy those across so and you know if you think if if another map gets an update and it gets a whole load of new fruits added you're not going to be able to copy the piles across so make a note of what you've got while you're doing that make a note of where you know the things you've got on the map have you got crops in different silos have you got productions that are full of things that kind of thing most of it will be covered but just make some notes maybe take some screenshots that kind of thing just uh, particularly if you've placed buildings done a lot of landscaping deleted things that kind of thing okay so let's move on to the next step so next step go away update the map once you've done that, we need to create a completely fresh new save. So empty slot. I'm going to do start from scratch for starting the save. That sort of works. So go with that. Select the map. I obviously I don't have access to the update to Carlson, so this is using the same version of Carlson, but it will work. Um, all the mods that I've got at the moment, because I'm not using many mods for what I'm doing on here. Things that will be useful if you're on PC. Course play if you use it this guy and i'll come on to why in a moment um power tools is pretty much essential for doing this real speed limit really helps speed things up sleep anywhere and store deliveries okay i'll try and put a list of those in the description as well but course play the lizard cheaty plow power tools real speed limit sleep anywhere store deliveries those are the ones that you really want so let's create the save and then we'll go on to the next step this next bit is not the most finessed okay there are some things that i haven't worked out how to copy across if you've got a better way of doing it feel free to comment make a video whatever so step one cheat in a bunch of money and that's where we're using power tools we're just going to max out the money okay next thing is to buy the land that you own um so we had field three field two field six field eight farm field 15 and field 25 and the common land and we'll come on to that in a moment so that's all the land brought okay next thing and this is the bit that i couldn't really work out a really good way of doing this is if for example over here in the uh the famous calmston secret field you've plowed this in and we've got areas over here by the uh, cell point over here and we've got the one up behind the shop i'm just going to focus on doing this one because this is in the save game this is the one that i've done anything with what we need to do is recreate that field this is the bit that's not the most finessed in my view and so what we're going to do is we're going to jump over the other bit that i haven't done because i haven't needed to on my save is look at trees that have been cut down if you cut down a bunch of trees you might need to get your chainsaw out and redo some of that um 
but I need to plow and create this field. So one of the really cool things is if you use course play, as long as the map name hasn't changed, course play should bring through your created field that you had. And we're going to use that to recreate the field and we're going to use store deliveries. So I it's alt shift and S to set the store deliveries point. And we're going to go to town on tractors. If you've got favorite tractors you want to use, just buy them. Um, so I'm going to get a pair of John Deere 9 RTs. Okay, and then this is where the cheaty plow comes in. And we're going to get two 9 meter cheaty plows. Okay, all we need to do um, is create the field. Um, and if it's got something like grass in it, so. Um, then you're going to need to replant it. It doesn't take very long at all using this method. If you've got arable crops in there, then as I said, do this after you have harvested them. And we're just going to use course play to uh, create this field. The next step you want to do is use alt and zero to disable the speed limit. That's the real speed mod. And then if you go into the course play settings and we're going to wind up all of the speeds. Okay, and then right click to bring up course play, click on no course to get into the course generator. We'll do a couple of headlands, whatever you need to get the field created. Um, and that should hopefully give us a course. We'll uh, do first waypoint, back up a bit. New feature for course play is to copy the course. So if you click on this guy, we can then copy the course across to the next tractor. Um, so, oh, just missed a spot, missed a step. Did you spot it? We forgot to enable create fields, which is why. Why? And off we go. So that one started. And I'm going to jump into this one. We're going to pick up the plow. And you'll see that at the bottom, the uh, clipboard is highlighted in the course play menu. And that's going to let us copy the course. So if we click on that, we'll bring the course in and I'm just going to hit the I so that we bring up the course. Um, I, in my save, I have left these trees in. It does mean that course play is going to have to work around them. And I think what I'm going to do is set this one off on this row, which means it's probably going to hit that tree fairly quickly. And then what we need to do again is do Alt-0 to... Uh, take off the speed limiter and we'll do that one on nearest waypoint and just going to let course play run through and create the field and then we're just going to reseed it with grass because that's what is i've done on my save if you've done a lot of plowing and stuff this probably isn't going to help you a lot i'm afraid if you've done a lot of work on customizing the map then uh you probably got a lot of work to do to recreate things uh this is this is you know this is my attempt at helping people that have done a basic job so yeah if you've done lots of complicated stuff this probably isn't for you i'm just going to stop this before it gets to the tree we'll whiz around the tree and then put it back on course plate um, so you may not have seen my constant save and what i did with this field so i i basically put a little I created an island afterwards using the terrain painting tools and um, which is why I've just kind of gone around the tree because I wanted to leave the tree in um, so the other one is on its second headland already this really shouldn't take very long while it is we'll talk about the other steps that we're going to do so we're going to get this plowed in and planted don't need to worry about liming it or rolling it or fertilizing it that is covered in some of the future steps what we're then going to do is set our fields to cultivated or plowed i do them all to cultivated because they're going to get the plowed state from what we copy across if you want them to look plowed that is entirely up to you um, we're then going to sort out setting the right number of days and skipping ahead i will actually cover a bit about silage as well before we do that um a way of dealing with the fact that you want but you know i, I had twenty-three thousand liters of silage in the pit we'll look at that as well 
once this is finished. We are then going to copy across everything from the save game that deals with the ground that I think is safe to copy. We're then going to do a little bit of tidying up of the terrain, stuff that doesn't come across, and then we're going to copy across all of our placeables, our animals, our bales, and our vehicles, and that kind of thing. It's um, it's not huge amounts of work. In all honesty, let's just switch to this guy because he's about to hit the tree. If you've taken the tree out, then uh, Lumberjack mod, use it to take the tree out, is my recommendation. Um, you know, just, just break the Lumberjack mod out and uh, quickly destroy all the trees. That'll sort it out for you. Right. No, no, it's on the first waypoint, nearest waypoint, there we go. And we may end up hitting another tree, but we'll see how we get on. I think the other one is almost on its last row. We, we, you know, you're watching me do this in real time. I so said this is going to be a very long video, but you know, this is if you've got hundreds of hours in a save, what's the pain in watching an hour-long video on how to recover those hundreds of hours? You know, and I'm just going to jump into this guy because he's got stuck, and we'll do a bit of manual plowing. So yeah, it's kind of cool. You get to play with some tractors that you might not normally because you might not be able to afford them depending on how you play. Don't worry about the fact that it's throwing stones. You can, if you really want, um, disable things like stones just to get this job done. But it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to pick that up in uh, how we copy across data. So if you've, uh, if you've spent a lot of time stone picking, we're going to get that back. Don't worry. we'll just quickly finish this up and then because i have this as grass we are going to seed some grass in here quickly again there might be really clever ways of doing this but i couldn't work out how to console command custom fields so that's part of the problem that i had so let's jump in the other one we'll take over you as well thank you very much clear off that course play course now just tidy up any missed bits or anything like that that you're particularly worried about and then I'm just going to do the little bit of landscaping that I did on my own save you may not have done this and you don't need to do it what I did because I think it kind of helps with course play long term and that is just to create a little island around each of these trees because I wanted to leave them in mainly because I couldn't be bothered to deal with cutting them down because they're the funny trees but yeah if you've done stuff like this then you need to recreate it just get up to this end and do the same we can then sell both of the plows off and we can sell one of the tractors How do you? Right, uh, let's jump into the store. Sell both of those. This is literally just to tidy the uh, map up as we're working. Let's clear that off, and then we're going to buy ourselves a uh, a big seed up. Use whichever one you like. Whichever one is going to fit around the fields that you're trying to reseed. It's just about doing it quickly. I'm going to use the. Uh, Amazon Saitan. I thought it was a condor. But, oh. And we're just going to buy it because the money that we're using at the moment is not actual game money. This is just money that we have thrown in to get jobs done quickly. So I'm going to very quickly get this. Actually, let's just, uh, we'll just hook up. And uh, obviously, we're going to F12 in the seed. Let grass and I'm going to get this seeded so I'll be back with you in a moment so we are just finishing up getting this very quickly replanted reseeded uh, in fact I've forgotten to put the seeder down because I'm just running down the field to get the last little bit that I missed 
It's only taken me a few minutes. You know, we've been seeding at 25, 24 miles an hour. Uh, this is, you know, literally about recovering to pretty close to where you have been when you need to do the update. Assuming the stuff that I've said before about being ready to harvest or harvest done and all that kind of thing. Quick check of the map. Yep, that's good enough for me. So we can now sell this guy off. Right, so next thing is um, heaps on the ground, I guess. And this is only going to work if it is a uh, like silage bunker that's built into the map. If you've got silage bunkers that um, you've added yourself, then uh, you may want to skip ahead, do the other steps and come back or just put the silage somewhere else. You can't tip silage into a silage bunker once it's fermented, um, but maybe just tip it somewhere else. But for, for this particular situation, all right, let's move this door delivery point to here. We're going to buy a uh, tractor and trailer, basically. And so I had 23,000 litres. So it's close enough. Slightly smaller trailer. There we go. That'll do. I'm going to lose a little bit, but I am not too worried about that. And then we're going to buy a. Uh, we want a tractor to be able to tip it in. And then we're going to buy a stupidly big tractor to very quickly compact it. If you had hundreds of thousands of litres, I would maybe consider selling it before. Or when you recreate the save, maybe put in a silo that can hold it. And fill that silo up. And there are a couple of modded silos on the mod hub that you could do that with. Maybe you know, cheat in enough extra that you can put one of those in. Fill it with your silage and uh, use that. So by, I'm going to do, because this is a built-in bunker, we can actually do this properly, and it's a sensible amount of silage. So we're going to fill the vehicle with chaff. And then uh, tip it into the pit. There, on, on my save, I've got maybe 300,000 litres of silage in this bunker. I'm going to sell it all before I move. Um... Or you could maybe buy a bunch of bales while you're doing the setup to equate to the amount of silage that you had, something like that. There, there are loads of options. Get rid of that. And then just going to buy a big old tractor. Probably should have kept one of the nine RTs, I guess. Let's go for a fence. It's not a huge amount of silage, so we don't really need to worry about a roller or anything. You might want to, you might want to make it look nice. You can spend as much time or as little time as you want doing this. I just want to get this done so I can show you all of the steps that I went through. And see, as I said earlier on, you can't just copy the heaps from the ground across because Calmston is getting a new crop and that new crop and we're stuck. Uh, the new crop means it changes how heaps are referenced. So yeah. A little bit of dagger wind strength there. Let me just get this compacted. And I will be back to uh, talk about the next step. Okay so that is my bunker filled and compacted. So we can just leave that. Because we're going to skip ahead some time anyway. Because you know, where I was it was October in my game so that is going to have plenty of time to ferment right next step what you want to do is um and actually i need to go out of the game to enable this you want to start the game with cheats and i will show you how to do that but you want to have cheats enabled so let's uh sort that out shall we 
So I play with a copy of ModHub. If you're on Steam, I'm not entirely sure how you do this. You might have to Google it or someone might put in the comments how you do it. Um, what you need to do is right click on your Farming Simulator 22 icon and go to Properties. And in the target bit, you want to add minus cheats after the farming simulator.exe question or quote marks. After that, put in minus cheats. That will start the game with cheat commands in the console enabled. So let's do that and then we'll uh, sort our fields out. Okay, so we are back in and we have cheats enabled and we now want to start doing the little bit of console commands that we need to do. So to bring that up, we use the, I think it's the tilde key. It's the key num next to the number one. It's to the left of the number one on most keyboards, I think. You want to hit that twice and that will bring up the, uh, the console with you to be able to type in commands. And what you want to do is type in GS field set ground. I'll try and put remember to put that in the description. The field number and then either plowed or cultivated is what I've used. We had field six as the plowed state in our previous save, so that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, you do get some funny edges. If they bother you, jump in a tractor with a plow, tied them up. If they don't bother me, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, so if we then close the console and we will fly over to field 25 which was another of our fields this was a field that was still in the harvested state um, i'm going to set that to cultivated just for simplicity so gs field set ground 25 because that's the field and cultivated um, we will get the chop straw to texture back that we had and again you can see there is a bit of a field margin if it bothers you jump in a tractor real speed mod it won't take you long to sort um you'll see at the moment that field 15 says it needs lime and it needs plowing we're going to sort that out separately with some copying of files field three i had as cultivated so we're going to uh have gs field set ground three cultivated job done and field two was the same as well we just didn't go and visit that okay so that is our fields all reset to roughly the state we had them before and that's why i said it's better to do it once you've harvested if you've just got them harvested and you've done it straight away just set them to cultivated you're saving yourself a bit of time maybe it's not the end of the world no one's going to die over the fact that you've cheated a bit of cultivating all right next step if you are playing with multiple day months I would set that now so you don't forget i was playing on one day months so i'm going to leave it and what we want to do is skip forward to the correct month that you were in so um, that's why i have the sleep anywhere mod Control z lets you just skip the day awesome or you can go back to your sleep point on calmston there is a sleep point so that is a very easy option and we're just going to have to skip forward a couple of days to get to october which is i believe where we were And then we are going to uh, save the game, jump out and start copying stuff across from our previous save game. So we're in the right month. Yes, a bunch of other stuff is wrong. We're going to start sorting that now. So save the game and quit the game and we'll go out to the desktop and we'll get some more stuff done so we're back out on the desktop and for this step you want to go to your farming simulator 22 directory i think pretty much for everyone on pc that's going to be in documents my games farming simulator 22 and you need to find whichever your two save games are so your old save game and your new save game you read notepad plus plus is what you want to use for some of this but not actually this step because i'm jumping ahead and what we're going to do now is going to copy some files from the old save across to the new ones we are going to take ground, stones, weed, lime, plow, roller, spray, stubble, weed. We're going to take terrain, all the terrain files, and we're going to take the weed growth state file down here. 
to select these files individually i'm holding down the control key and left clicking however you get them all selected those are the ones you want to select control c to copy go to farming simulator 22 we go into save game 10 and we do control v to paste and we replace files that's the first step of moving information across from the old save to the new save. We now want to load the game back up, check that things look OK, and we can do a little bit of work in the game again. OK, so we've just reloaded the game. And if we now go into the map and scroll across to our filters, and particularly if we look at things like needs plowing, needs lime, um, this field over here did need lime still, but has been plowed, it's been rolled even though we didn't roll it um, field 15 here has been plowed limed and rolled and we didn't touch that at all um, so the grass state is still there that's just come across from what i did previously field 6 is now plowed and limed as it was in the game when we came across field 3 has been plowed but still needs lime that's as it was when i was playing and field 25 is full of weeds which i think is how it was um, you can see that the rocks that we had in the field that we created are also gone as to the level that I had taken them out. So that's all come across. We then jump over to the cow farm where we had our BGA placed. Um, and this is the only place that I had done any terrain work. You'll see if I put flight mode on, it will be easier that our plateau is there and the painted terrain is under it, but it's got the uh, plants over it, which is a little bit annoying. So this is where we need to do a little bit of tidying up. So we're gonna go into painting and I'm just gonna repaint the, uh, the texture that I had put down. It's, if this is your proper save game, spend a bit of time doing this neatly. I'm just taking you through the steps in a timely fashion so that you don't have to watch a two hour long video probably long enough as it is so if you've got any other bits like that that you've done then you probably want to sort them as well um on, on my safe i hadn't sold this if you had you probably want to sell this at this point this should be fixed now in the update to the game if not go and watch my other video on how to get rid of it so uh, I think at this point we save the game again and we get start, we go back out and we start to move across some of the things from the old save. Okay, so this is where we're going to want Notepad++. This works brilliantly for this step. Google it, download it, install it. I'll try and remember to put a link down below as well. And we want to go back to My Games Farming Simulator 22 and find our two save game folders again. Go into your original save game scroll down to placeables and open that up and then we want to go back and go into the new save game and do the same thing open up placeables now this is where you know, making the notes that you made at the start is going to pay off because we're going to need to do things like copy the contents of the silos across copy the animals across so it's if a little bit of work ahead of time is going to make your life easier at this point so we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the silo that we had that's had some bits in it and we're going to select all of that so from silo to slash silo to highlight it Control c to copy it from the old save and then we're going to go into the new save find the same silo use the name paste it in that's our silo contents moved across we had some cows so let's go find those you can just search for cow but we do that so we'll open up control f and we'll just search for cow and there's our cow pen and we're going to select everything from husbandry just in case the details of the placeable have changed okay so we're going to do husbandry down to husbandry food this is the only time you're going to need to get into the xml files to copy stuff so we're going to go across now into our new save game we'll do the same thing you control f search for cow there's the cow placeable we're going to select everything there do control v to place paste it in okay 
that's everything that i needed to bring across if you had fuel in any of the fuel containers anything like that you're going to have to do the same thing you find it in the original save you copy the information you go across to the new save you paste it in what we had also was a couple of new placeables so we had the mini bga which is a production and we had the manure heap so to select those we're going to select the uh, the mini bga first we're going to scroll down to the end of it we're going to do Control c and we're going to paste it in do that we go to the end of the last placeable in here we hit return to make some space and then do Control v to paste and what you need to make sure is that the id number of what you're pasting in is bigger than the id number here if you're not sure stick a zero on the end that should sort it we'll go back we'll grab our manure heap and again we'll select everything between the two placeable lines we'll do Control c to copy and we'll paste it in and there we go and again we need to make sure that the id number is not used so again we'll just stick a one on the end the game will sort it out okay we didn't need to do anything in this situation but just in case you're not sure hit save and then we are going to close those and then we're going to go back to our original save and we're going to take items and we're going to take vehicles we're going to do Control c to copy them and we're going to go paste those into the new save we'll ask if you want to replace them just say yes and then we're going to go back into the game and we'll have a look at what we've got at this point so now we've got our tractors back our cows are back our bales are back our silage will have fermented because we've skipped forward a couple of months our slurry pit is full the manure heaps back but the texture's not there so you just need to jump in do a bit more landscaping and something like a manure heap you could just put it back using the placeable system if you wanted it's just to give you an idea yeah. a little bit of painting yeah. okay if we put flight mode on just because it'll make it easier to move around the map speed up a bit we've got our bga back and the stuff that was in the bga is there we've got our chopped straw texture for where we had chopped straw cows back fields are okay all the vehicles are back where they should be we're pretty much done at this point uh, so again save the game if you've changed anything close it and we have one last step to do so again, we're back in my games, Farming Simulator 22. Pretty much the last step we've got to do um, is to move across a bunch of the other information. So we're going to take, don't need to take all of these. Um, it's just yeah, environment, economy. It's your crop price history. Environment, that's your weather. Farms. Missions, if you want to, NPCs, if you want to, um, you could take sales across if you want to. I'm not going to bother. That's pretty much everything that I'm going to take. So you might want to take course play as well, actually, and uh, but I'm not too worried about that. If you've got precision farming on, actually, as well, there'll be a bunch of precision farming files if you had it enabled before you move the save. Copy those as well. That'd be useful, probably. So we're just going to copy those, move them into the save game, and then reload everything. And uh, we should be pretty much done, I think. So I guess one thing to note, this time when you load it, you're still going to see some funny things like money, time played, all that kind of thing. That will get sorted next time you save and reload. And I'll show you that as we do this step. So that you just, if you're worried about that kind of thing, just so you get some of your stats back. But this is the last step this is possibly not perfect but it's got you a long way to where you were so your money's back where it should be 
um, you know, if we go into the finances, if you had a loan or anything, it's there. Some of your, your history is there. This is obviously not completely realistic because I was doing a bunch of random stuff. Um, you've got your animals with the food they had. Your weather will be the same. Um, your missions should be the same. You've got your history. So I made some bales in the uh, original save so you've got all that kind of thing across your fuel used your playtime all that kind of stuff so if we do one more save and quit and reload you'll see now actually the stats match between the two if that kind of stuff bothers you and for me i'm done Okay, this is as good as I am going to do for my own game to move this stuff across. As I said, if you have precision farming enabled, there are some precision farming files in the save folder. You need to copy those from save game, from the old save game to the new save game. Do that at the same point that you do all of the uh, file copying that we did where we took the terrain and that kind of thing across. But, you know, for me, I'm pretty content that we've achieved a pretty good transfer of the information it's not perfect but for me it's good enough you know our bail stacks are here our vehicles are back this guy is full of lime still like it was when i was using it before bales if you had manure in the pit that you wanted to add back in this would be the point where I would F12, however many trailfuls of manure you need to put back in. You can tip manure into a manure pit. I'll just show you that. And that's it. I'm sure people will have questions, people will make mistakes and things won't work or won't appear to work. Um, the probably the area that you're most likely to make a mistake is the placeables.xml editing that if you're not sure beforehand i would make a backup of that file before you start copying things in from the old save uh, that way if you do make a mistake you can go back easily and if you've got a lot of things to move, do it in stages, do a couple of items, move them across, reopen the game, check that it works. Um, if it doesn't work, if you bring up the console, it will probably tell you what's gone wrong or look in your log file. Um, if you're doing this kind of thing, you probably need to be comfortable with where your log file is, that kind of thing. You're most likely to have made a mistake in what you copied or copy something to the wrong place something like that so if you keep a, take a backup of placeables.xml file um, before you start editing it you can always go backwards but yeah i i think we're done so if you have watched all of this video and you find it useful please click the like button and just leave me a comment saying great video something like that that really helps the channel out if you're not subscribe to the channel turn on notifications that helps as well um, if you've got questions that you can't sort yourself join the discord and uh, jump on there there's a farm sim help section ask in there i might help there's some other people there might help definitely don't need to tag me if you do need to post in there I will see it when I get a chance. Tagging me won't make me see it any quicker. Might annoy me. Um, and there are a bunch of other people on there that are pretty good at this kind of stuff. So just go in the farm some help question section. Ask. I'm done. Catch you next time.